meeting to order on January the 8th at 5.30. I'd like to welcome everybody for being here. And if you would, stand and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brother Philip, I've asked Brother Philip Miller to ask to say a prayer. Everybody pray on way. Heavenly Father, it's again more we just found in your holy presence. We come forth before you tonight with thanksgiving, Lord, because of the many blessings that thou hast bestowed upon us. We pray, Holy Father, that uh, I would just bless in this uh, session of the court. We want to thank you for Judge Markham and these other officials. Uh, Lord, we just pray for each one of them. Pray, Lord, in everything that is done, that they'll look to you uh, for leadership and for guidance. Because, uh, Lord, when we know you, uh, we know the best. Uh, we know the one that uh, was in the beginning and the one that will be in the end. He, you said, I'm Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Father, we pray for our county. Uh, we pray, Lord, that we are prosper in you. Uh, pray, Heavenly Father, that uh, thou would just uh, uh, take charge and, and may we as a people be submissive under your precious will. Father, we pray that uh, thou would just uh, uh, go with us uh, to our respective places tonight and help us as we journey on through life uh, that uh, we'll be humble and true in the very center of your will. We ask this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Brother Bill. I just, that's my fault. It's the nine. Sorry. Correction. All right. Um, I need a motion to approve the minutes from our call meeting on January the 3rd and the minutes from the December 12th. Uh, is the I'll make a motion. Motion made by Magistrate Lodale. Second. Second by Magistrate Garner. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. Motion carried. Uh, I need a motion to pay the bills. I'll make, I'll make a motion by the bills. Motion made by Magistrate Richardson. Second. Second by Magistrate Garner. All those in favor of paying the bills? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Uh, <coughs> the detention center report. Such a thing on the next one. Right, our average uh, inmate population for last month was 112. Nurse visits, $63.47. Prescription copay, $232.36. Check from, for House Bill 452, $320.14. Got three checks on House Bill 556 for MRT classes, GRD, G, GED classes offered in program attendance, which totaled $21,080. DUI fees, $1,240.87. Housing state inmates, $80,787.24. Social Security payment, $400. Uh, check for House Bill 413, $1,451.30. Traffic school, $60.06. Uh, one fee claim check for uh, transporting an inmate to prison, $133.62. Uh, two checks from Clinton County, uh, for housing inmates for them, $4,370.17. Uh, 
Uh, booking fees collected $1,398.49. Another fee claim for transporting six inmates to prison $771.26. Vending commission $19.72. Phone commission four thousand seven hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Uh, reimbursement from the canteen four hundred forty-one dollars and seventy-five cents. For them collected two thousand eighty-seven dollars and seventy-one cents. Interest thirty-six dollars and two cents. We had eleven hours overtime uh, last month. Uh, when I left the jail a while ago, I had seventy-six state inmates, one Clinton County inmate. 39 Russell County inmates for a total of 116. And uh, also, y'all need to take a vote before I talk about the uh, uh, changing of medical. No, we just need to. Uh, I, I got a question yeah. on this right here. You said that uh, GED and that other was 20 some thousand. It shows on here 13,000. Yeah, yeah, but if you know all, 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 all three of them you total together, so it wouldn't have all three checks. Right. Yeah, $21,080. Okay, you added them all together. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. 7,000. Yeah. So, I, I, you know. yeah, I, I need a motion to approve this. I'll make a motion to approve it. Motion to Magistrate Garner, second by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Uh, Bob, you want to talk about? Yeah, uh, we had the same medical company for the fact the last twelve years, and uh, uh, they were. I wasn't as pleased with them. A lot of people were leaving them, and I got to checking out a lot of things, and so we uh, bid out the medical contract and. Uh, uh, the lowest one that came in was another company, and uh, uh, I think I think the next highest was 138,000. But this one came in in all 136,000. But to break it down, it was 116,000 plus they added the $20,000 cost pool in, which we'd had in the other one also, except it was 18,000, and we only retained 80% of anything we didn't spend. So a few years, I got to put it, send a check back with this one right here. The cost pool is twenty thousand, but they will give a a hundred percent back of anything that we do not spend, and so uh, we felt it was better to go with uh, this company here. They have a very good reputation. Uh, in fact, I think uh, twenty five jails in the state of Kentucky have changed uh, to this company, and uh, uh, and I know of four or five more that's uh, they're going to bid on uh, this year, and so we felt it was. Uh, the best option, and uh, one one thing is, uh, we always if we had over a hundred and ten inmates, we got charged uh, uh, a dollar, a little over a dollar a day uh, for average daily population on that old contract. This one right here, it doesn't matter if we get up to 120, 30 inmates, which we hope we don't, but uh, uh, there will be no uh, added cost to that right there. And so. Uh, I wish I'd brought the contract with me tonight, but I, I, I didn't. And But I wanted to explain that to you all, that uh, we feel we've done the best. They retained the nurse. That was one thing. They retained the nurse. She had been with me from day one, uh, probably hasn't missed five or six days uh, in, in, in the 12 years that she's worked there. She drives an air uh, to work, and uh, they retained her at, uh, at uh, honestly at a higher pay than what she's making now. And uh, they retain her insurance, and so uh, uh, we we felt it was in our best interest for the county uh, to uh, to make this change right here, and so uh, uh, so we we did. I'm going to interject because you said we bid this out, and I just need to clarify yeah. because this is considered a professional contract, so therefore it did not. Did not we did not have to put an advertisement in the paper because yep. so when you say bid it out it wasn't it wasn't done in the newspaper or whatever but yeah so just he clarify. just pressed this is he was offer. yes I mean because that's a professional contract so it's not the same. Right here, this off. one's less it was about four thousand dollars more this an area is now no that, cheaper cheaper yeah besides the fact that to get 100 percent retained it yeah. cost food yeah and and he's going to get better service from nurse practitioner than he used to got. Once a week? Our right? nurse practitioner before was coming uh, uh, once every two weeks for two hours. This one right here we get uh, once a week for two hours. So uh, 
that's going to help us so much more on keeping a check on these inmates. What was the name of the company again? I've already forgotten. Three C's. They used to be called Kentucky Care. Care. Okay. But yeah. I think I think they changed it to Three C's. Well, I know they did change it to Three C's. That's a, yeah, that's another plus too. It's a Kentucky company. The other company was a Tennessee. Company out of Tennessee. Tennessee, right? Yeah. I'll make a motion that we accept that. Motion made by Magistrate Garner, seconded by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Sheriff's report. Russell County Sheriff's Department for the month of December had 312 911 calls for service. We had 21 arrests. We had 13 domestics worked. We had 17 1045 accidents with no injuries. We had two 1046 accidents with injuries. We had 52 officer requests. We had 12 EMS requests assessed. We had 16 mental health transports, eight to Adana, four to Eastern State, three to home. <coughs> Zero to Lincoln Trail, one to Rivendell. Had 44 court papers served. We had 2,187 court trans security transport miles driven, 13 criminal summons served. Had 26 vehicle inspections, 16 CCW concealed carry permits issued. The month of December, we collected $1,069,175 in property tax collections. For total, that brings the total to $10,669,000. 10 yeah, $10,669,000. $13.89. Thanks for raising that. <laughs> I need a motion to accept the sheriff's I'll report. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Motion made by Magistrate Skaggs, seconded by Magistrate Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the treasurer's report a little different, y'all. I'm going uh, to ask for a, a motion. You all have them in your packet. If you have any questions, we can discuss them. But to approve the monthly and quarterly uh, settlement reports and the uh, uh, Appropriation expense transfer. I'll make a motion. A motion made by Magistrate Garner. Second. Second by Magistrate Wilson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? No. Motion carried. Good morning. She probably yeah. didn't hear you. Yeah, maybe she mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Russell County Clerk's uh, month, uh, maximum salary schedule and budget for 2023. We took it back to 300000 um, We may have to uh, come back and amend. Again, we've lost another uh, person. And uh, so I'm going to have to do some training, uh, send them for some training. So we may have to come back. But we're going to take it back to 300000 I'm not going to motion, Mr. Chair. I'm second. Motion made by Magistrate Richards and <coughs> seconded by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Patty, I'll get Thank these you, down. Patty. I'll get these to you tomorrow to sign. All right. Can you transfers? Okay. okay. We need to transfer. This is a budgeted transfer, $379,478 from the general to the jail as budgeted for operating expenses. Motion okay. made by Magistrate Gardner, seconded by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next transfer. Next transfer is uh, from the general department to dispatch, also as a budgeted transfer in the amount of $79,476 even, again, for operating expenses. I make a motion to make transfer, Judge. Motion made by Magistrate Richardson. I'll second. Seconded by Magistrate Wilson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? I say something about this one before we get it. Mm -hmm. This transfer happens. We're, we're trying to figure out how we, we have to bring this up every month because it's part of that Senate bill that put that Medicaid money in that goes to the EMS. 
and um, then we have to transfer it from one fund over into another fund every every month. Which is not a fund we actually have because right. ambulance is a separate taxing district, so we right. really shouldn't be having anything to do with it. But, but it's something with a pass through or something. But we're trying to work on getting that off because you you all have to do that every month. But I'll let Kim go ahead and go through it. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, we just need to transfer nineteen hundred eighteen dollars and fifty six cents uh, from the dispatch fund over to the ambulance board. Uh, that is for enhanced Medicaid, and again, it's something that we're getting now every month, and hopefully we can figure it out to get them. They should be taking it to try to explain it. Every every entity has a what they in the, in the EMAR system has a vendor code, and the ambulance service is already in the EMAR system. So why they can't pick the ambulance board to put that money over to, I'm not sure. <coughs> I can't seem to figure it out yet from the state, but we're going to continue to work on it and try to figure it out. But that's all it is, is just literally somebody in Frankfurt doing a drop-down menu and they're picking us and 911 instead of the ambulance. So we just, we'll figure it out. I'll make motion. I'll say. Uh, <coughs> motion made by Magistrate Garner, seconded by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor, signal by the CNI. Aye. Uh, any opposed? No. Motion <coughs> carried. Um, Need a motion to pay the money that's budgeted for the uh, fire department rescue squads uh, for the support that they get from the. Yeah, it's already we, in the budget. We, yeah, it's, it's budget. all budgeted money. I'll make a motion yeah. to do that. So too. ten thousand to South Russell, ten thousand to Jamestown, ten thousand to Russell Springs, ten thousand to Eli, four thousand to Fallbush, and then ten thousand to the Russell County Rescue Squad. Oh. That's, it, that's budgeted money every year, so it's in the budget. Okay, just, Steve then made the motion, I'll second it. Okay, motion made by Magistrate Richardson, seconded by Magistrate Skaggs. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carries. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to appoint, as a judge pro tem, I want to uh, make a motion to appoint Zach Wilson. He's the youngest one, so if I get sick, and anyway. That's uh, new. Yeah. We're all new, so. But anyway, I, I like that. You're making the motion. I make yourself. a motion. I'll say. Motion made by Judge Markham, seconded by Magistrate uh, Waddell. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Any opposed? No. Um, Y'all have this in your package. I just forwarded you the email, but it's uh, uh, two appointments I think was supposed to have already been done for the uh, uh, extension board appointments. One's a returning member, uh, Sheila McKinley, and the new one is going to be Victor Rexrow. Um, so I need a motion to uh, approve those two board appointments. I think they were all like, he said that they were supposed to be done already in the year. But, they expired but they on 115 of 23. Yeah, so. this month. So. This, yeah, yeah, they expired I didn't understand what, what boards you're putting them it's, on. It's the uh, Russell County Extension, Extension Board. Oh, okay. Uh, it came from, it's it's in your packet there. It came from Zach uh, Oaks, and they they actually recommended some people for that. And like I said, Jonathan Oaks. I mean, Jonathan Oaks. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's looking at me. Yeah. Um, but Sheila is returning. She's on there now. It was her first time. So she's returning. And then I think Victor's re we, we think it may be uh, Dante. To, yeah, to fill Dante Carpenter's position on there. So that's and, what that is. And also, just as a note, on, on our website, and, and Jonathan folks also told me it's like a we correct it's like our website we said that they were four-year terms it's actually a three-year term so right. we're going to correct so these are actual three-year terms not four-year okay. terms but that is all dictated by the extension service so but we will fix that on yeah. the website so i need a motion to approve them i'll make the motion <clears throat> i'll make the motion motion made by uh, magistrate skaggs a second i'll second Seconded by Magistrate Gardner. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed? No. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Y'all had a chance to look at the compliment. 
change this if you have any questions. If not, I need a motion to approve this. I'll make a motion. Motion made by Magistrate Gardner, seconded by Magistrate Waddell. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Any aye. opposed? Aye. I went a little bit too fast there. I'll get this down. I'd leave a little paper. Okay, next. Uh, Mark. Thank you, Judge. <clears throat> I told Jason before the meeting started, I wasn't a speaker. I was a doer, and he agreed with me. He's in the way he was, too, so y'all just bear with me. Um, I'd first like to congratulate you all uh, on your successful bids for office. Uh, I know y'all worked hard to be here. Uh, you've got the same desire, I think, as, as I do, to serve the people here in the county to make a better place for them, okay? Um, I know some of you have been here for a while. I know some of you are just now coming on, but I want to welcome you all. Um, and I want to thank you for stepping up and, and wanting to serve the county. And I hope to be able to work with you all and so we can uh, get where we need to be. Some people don't understand the job of the coroner's office. Uh, a lot of people think that, that we get a call, we go out, and we'll pick up somebody that's died and take them to the funeral home. It's a lot more than that. Uh, that's the part that people see. The part they don't see is that we put in many hours of searching, getting records, dealing with medical examiners on some cases, and trying to figure out what the cause of death is. Uh, sometimes that uh, you know takes a while to do, but. Uh, the thing, the reason we have to do this is because we have to put our names on death certificates. And if you know anything about birth certificates, death certificates, they're legal documents, okay? And they have to be exact. Um, what we put on a death certificate sometimes, it hinges on whether a person can get money from life insurance policies, things like that, for their loved ones. Um, also, in the last few years, we've had federal money out there for people who died from COVID. Uh, over in eastern Kentucky, they had money that was put aside for people that died in the floods. Western Kentucky, people that died in the tornadoes. And, and a lot of this, like I said, it depends on what gets put on the death certificate, whether they qualify. So, you know, we do more than just take somebody to the funeral home. I could stand here and I could ask you all for more money for the office as far as wages and salaries. That's selfish, I'm not gonna do, I don't want that, okay? Uh, I mean, as far as wages it, it across the state, I'd say we rank from what I can get somewhere between 110 and 115 as far as salary range out of 120 counties. Um, our call volume is just looking at counties our size, we're, we're double what they're doing. I mean, we, we've just been really, really busy. Right now, we have two vehicles that, that serve the office. We've got a 2014 uh, Nissan, it's a transport van, and it makes all of our transports. And, and it's infallible in doing that. It, it's a great vehicle, and I hope it lasts another 20 or 30 years. It'd be great. Um, the other vehicle we have is one that Derek had, had gave me uh, when they replaced their sedans with the uh, uh, trucks, and it's a 2013 Taurus. Uh, he laughed when I said something. I asked him one time about the check engine light bit, and he said, I oh, said it's on all of them. Um, but anyway, I uh, got to having trouble with it after I got it and got to driving it and had it checked out, and transmission is just about ready to drop. And I, I checked, and somewhere around 3,000, it's probably a low ballpark figure for getting a new transmission in it. But the thing about that is, we can't transport anybody in that. Um, so what I'm proposing is uh, another vehicle that we can use, that we can get out in the snow, we can get off the road if we need to. In other words, a four-wheel drive vehicle to be used where we can transport somebody that's, that's passed away. Um, 
I just built, what, two weeks ago, I guess, when the weather was bad. I got stuck three times in my vans trying to get around. Of course, it's just rear-wheel drive, nothing special about it. Actually, the cruiser goes better than the, the van does because it's all-wheel drive, but uh, I can't transport anybody in it. So. But just kind of give you all a little idea of some of the call volume that we have. Uh, I went back to 2020. We got a total of 107 calls, 15 times. 15 of those calls were, happened on the same day. Uh, we either had double calls or even a triple call sometimes. And so that involves having to transport and then having to wait to transport somebody because we only have the one transport van. Uh, and that year we had six transports either to Louisville or to Frankfurt. So, and when we go out of the county with our transport van, that leaves us without anything to transport in. Uh, 2021, 124 total calls. 12 of those were multiple, where we had multiple calls in a day. Eight of those went for uh, either Louisville or Frankfurt. Last year, we had 161 calls. Uh, 11 of those, we had multiple days with, with, uh, with multiple calls. Uh, six of those went to Frankfurt or Louisville. So far this year, we've had seven calls, and you know, that's setting off for a good year right there. Um, everybody's got a copy that I made of a proposal. And uh, anyway, it's uh, for a 2023 Chevrolet Suburban four-wheel drive, four-door LS. Uh, this was uh, worked through with state contract pricing. Uh, I think the same people that had dealt with the uh, uh, well, emergency management vehicles is the same ones that went through. Mark, that's, that's not state park. That's not state contract. Though. Well, whatever. It's not that's, a state contract, so it has to be bid. Okay. Well, just yeah. whatever they yeah. went through. Okay. That. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't need you to say it, but I think we got a real good price here dealing with those same people. But you look on the page. Uh, had another price from uh, Bob Allen, but that vehicle they already sold it, so they kind of took that out. But got a price there for a 2023 Chevrolet Suburban four-wheel drive uh, with the, what they said was the discounted pricing for the county is a total of $57,695, which I think is an excellent price for that kind of vehicle uh, that would serve our purpose for a long time. Uh, the next page you look at, I went through and I just looked at some financing options. Uh, if you didn't want to buy it straight out or whatever, <coughs> funds from the, the ARPA funds or whatever. But uh, I called all the local banks and talked to them. Uh, Bank of Jamestown came back with the lowest interest rate at 3.75% uh, for five years. And if you look at your next page, you can see I broke that down into how much that would be on a monthly payment. If you wanted to go that way, it would be just a little over $1,000 a month for 60 months uh, to purchase that vehicle. Uh, and then the last page, and I laid another picture up there for you all that goes with the last page, and that's for lettering. That's something that we don't have to do right now, but that's the price that I got for doing the lettering, and the picture shows what the lettering will look like on it. Um, and all I can say is, uh, you know, I just humbly ask you all for help in, in me being able to do my job. I know Derek's got a job he does. Bobby's got one he has to do. Um, you know, road department, thing move here. You know, we've all got things we've got to do for the people here in the county. And I just feel like that, that this was somewhere. This this is not a privilege request. I, like I said, I could stand up here and ask for a raise. I'm not going to. I enjoy what I do, okay? But I need equipment and stuff to work with. So, thank you. Any questions? In discussion? One thing I've got to say is it's kind of a bad time for a dashboard in the middle of our budget. If we'd have budget for it, it would be different, but it's not in the budget, you know. That's just my opinion. Everybody else got their don't uh, don't we have a vehicle up at EMS that sits ninety percent of the time that we're paying taxes and insurance on? EMS. Could he not use the only EMS, like I, we have the old Durango. 
Oh. I think he's talking about the one at the end. Oh, of the okay, my bad. It's a four wheel drive, or I think it it's is. I may be wrong. You talking about HM's old vehicle, or are you talking about at the ambulance service? I'm talking about the ambulance service. Okay. Well, I can't speak to that tonight. Well, know. the board had had to do that because it's a taxing entity and it's different. They could transfer it. They right. transferred a vehicle over to the, the rescue squad. But that's something that we could ask them about. But it, what your model is. I don't know. It has a lot of miles on it. Right. Mike, do you know much about the vehicle? It's, it's, it's an older model. It comes from Phillips. Yeah. It comes from where? Phillips. Phillips. Oh, Gaskins. Phillip. Yeah. Gaskins. Oh, Phillips. Um, I did go check out the old emergency management yes. vehicle, and I got it out and drove it, and I thought it was going to burn before I got it back to the parking lot. Yeah, that's the one back here in the <laughs> parking lot. We're yes. going to auction that out. Okay. It needs to go out for a <laughs> right. surplus. Okay. I, I look for ways where we've got surplus. He did. Something at work. And I think there's a, like an ABC truck that's four-wheel drive too, but I dare not put somebody that's died on back of a pickup truck. So. How about state surplus? I don't. I, I mean, mean here, here's the thing for me. I don't think there's any other county office that's driving suburban. I don't, I don't know. But they've all got them. Who? They've all. Got I know them Clinton suburban. County does have one. Yeah, but I'm talking about them. Russell County. We oh, don't have any. Oh county yeah, you're talking about another county. But and I know the city of Russell Springs has them, but um, <clears throat> I have them too. They're, they're kind of expensive to operate, but I mean it is what it is. You're going to have to pay something to operate anything, but. <clears throat> I don't know if we shouldn't check with state surplus and see if there's anything from the state that's out there that we could use to get you another vehicle. Um, but I mean, it's up to everybody, if they, you know. But I, I just, I'm like Meggie, you know, it's, it's not in the budget, so it's uh, like he said, it's kind of a bad time to, you know what I'm saying? To Gene. I just wanted to make a comment too. That's like you know, and I appreciate the due diligence that you did on getting the interest rates, but. Unfortunately, like with the banks, any of the banks that we go through, that's considered short-term lending, and those that loan has to be paid off within a fiscal year, one fiscal year. So if we were to get a loan, say today, right. hypothetically, it would have to be paid off by June 30th of this year. So CACO is the only one that, that we could go through for that type of lease, because they call it a lease, and but that would be the only one that we would be able to finance that through. So I just wanted to clarify that for you all. Have you have you looked at another van as far as like getting a, a, a front wheel drive van? And I, I know we have snows and stuff and it's probably an exception rather than the rule. Most of the time you're not going to be driving in snow. But no, I have uh, But I mean, something along that line that would that you might be able because you just said what what's the one you got now? What brand is it's it? Nissan. It's a Nissan. Nissan. And from a standpoint of breaking down and stuff like that, it's probably been pretty dependable. But if if there is an animal like that that's front wheel drive, maybe that's a, a way to go. And you can fix it to, for a stretcher or whatever too, I think. We can ask the ambulance service too to look at that one out there, but it's got, <clears throat> I know it's got quite a few miles on it. And they're fixing to be a letter in place that's coming in right up here at Jamestown. And it'll, they'll probably have it up going in the next two months. You know, they're detailing vehicles and lettering in <coughs> Russell Springs now. And I think theirs is a lot less than 825. You know, they done my truck for like, I think it was 150 bucks. I think we ought to wait. So, what do you think, Steve? Without a motion, I think we need to table it. Table it. Uh, <coughs> you know, we got to so could always look at it in the, in the next budget. Yeah, in the next budget. Because that's not too far away. Right. And I'm happy to try to incorporate that into the fiscal, for the budget for starting July 1. No. 
about four months away before we start. Right. I mean, then the budget committee can make that decision that we can look at it that way. All right. Y'all have a, my letter of resignation from the EMS board in your packet, and I would like to appoint Aaron Pointer to replace me on the EMS board. And I need a motion to, to do that. His term will go to 6 nine, 24. Yeah, he, he will be filling out my term. Motion made by Magistrate Seconded by Magistrate. Magistrate Richardson. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? So the next thing is the <coughs> physical court uh, 2022 audit results. Uh, been in business, I, I tell you, I like to see this an audit report that doesn't have any recommendations or it, and the findings that says none. So that makes me feel pretty good starting off uh, new in this role. But uh, do we need a motion? No, that's that? just it's really just, for public's. Uh, it, that, uh, that has been gone, it's gone to the state now for review, but it's, it's done. I think we did pretty good. So, in other business, uh, I wanted to. Bring up the 911 we, that was tabled last month. Um, I have talked to uh, Kim Rankin and, and Kurt Dillman from AT&T. They've got nothing yet as far as pricing. Uh, I still have not heard from any. This is a list of people that Gary gave me or left. I haven't heard from any of them. I haven't heard back from the state or, or state police uh, for the approval on the building. So. My recommendation would be is we table this thing till next month and hope that we get something back. The lady that drew up the plans came in my office Tuesday. Um, they're, they're passed. I mean, they, there's nothing else they can do on their end. So I've got a question, if okay. I may. Uh, I, looked, I had a change and thank Mickey for tabling this to give me a shot at trying to find out some stuff and look at the plans and stuff. Uh, and, and we may have to talk to the engineering company or who our architect company. Can uh, can it, can them plans be changed prior to <clears throat> us doing anything? I, yet? I would tell you they have to be because I think the state's going to come back and tell us that it's not a secure facility the way it's designed. Right. And why why do that and have have a bid and then have to go back and do a change order? Well, and another thing we we need. And we can't put a gun to their head unless we send Derek. But do uh, we need them people to get in gear, like getting them lines into the, oh, they, you know, from AT&T? Right, they'll do that whenever we come up with everything else, but they're not going to put any lines in until there's a No, no, I'm not saying put them in, but at least give us yeah. an idea, a, a ballpark. I think the biggest thing. I'd like to have all the figures together before right. we do me, anything. Me too. I, I think until you have a turnkey price, yeah. Not to exceed 10% or whatever that is, we're doing a disservice to the citizens of this county. I agree with that. Because the biggest one's probably going to be Southern Communications, is just to, to move the equipment and to see what upgrades we got to have. There is a piece of, there's a data recorder there that has got a shelf life of five years and we've already had it seven. So we know we're going to have to replace that, whether it's there or we move it somewhere else, it's going to have to be replaced. Is uh, Southern and this is in other business. Are they the ones that we're using now? They are the ones we used them at the EMS because not too many months ago, the guys back there can tell you, we had a situation where we had to use them down at uh, Freedom at that uh, transfer station down there. There was a building that we had, the repeater tower for the county is down there for, for that side of the, the business. And that tower being there on their property, uh, East Kentucky Power come in. Actually, I think the Public Service Commission came in and said, you got to vacate this building. It's got asbestos in it, tear it down. Well, they communicated with the EMS for like a year, and we didn't know about it. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it was like 911, you got to get it out of here. We're tearing the building down. And they wouldn't, like RECC uh, gives power to them, but it's actually, it, they, they own it. So they did set us up a temporary site to move that tower in Southern Communications video. And just to put a box, a panel, 
It was twenty two thousand dollars, I think, wasn't it, guys? And um, Dad, can I make twenty two thousand dollars for a, an electrical panel to put that stuff in? So <clears throat> they they gave us some room because we had to cut the PO and then actually show them that we had ordered it, and then they gave us some because it was a it was one of those things they had to build. So it took us a while to get it in, but they they put up a temporary thing and put some. A generator there so we could still run on that part of the county so, so they're the ones then that we're using right now for all I, does I the police so. use the they same repeater there I, mean, I mean because back years ago when i guess hm first had the uh the digital equipment and everything at the time the set of communications that uh, <coughs> and, and then um i think uh troy walters helped write a grant for for ems mm -hmm. to get those those towers put around the county with the generators well i received a complaint this week and, and i just wanted i told them i'd check into it um mostly fire department i think is having problems communicating like one side's down or something and this company if this is the same company i don't know if it is or not I don't know. but they uh they would just look on their computer and say no it's up and running you know they didn't bother coming down here and then finally they got them to come down and found an antenna that was bad but but it's bad something's bad again you know and i think it's around the hospital so, somewhere that's that's been been a lot i just got a bill for it so is that just, the same company just, or is it a different yes. company? It's the same company. It's it is because i just got a bill for it today and i was like i didn't understand the cut but it was talked about they had they were looked at a tower somebody came down and looked at a tower and um uh, at the hospital and then one down on the lower end and um, there was like three places that this person went and was checking and not you know I, I think pretty that, sure it's southern communications because I was like who I was trying to figure out who, who put the PO you know who who asked for it I don't know who who requested the service I don't know you know well, I'll find if, out if we <laughs> if there's any way we can shake their tree to get it back up and running because you know it's important it could be my house it could be anybody's house in here or whatever we I, need communication i will try to reach out to southern communication this week and <clears throat> find out if that's been more than once i think it's happened up there that may be an area that's prone to, to for lightning strikes for that tower and it may need to be moved that'd be great if you can i'll I appreciate it. it i'll check with them i'll, I'll try to reach out to them tomorrow and find thank you so much I think that you also took the tower that was insured or something. Okay, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. We talked about that. Well, place. the repeater, yeah, because yeah, it had to be the replaced one at the hospital. That had, to, yeah, that was expensive. Yeah. But yeah, but yes, that was well, an it, insurance. I think the one Larry's talking about. I think the city of Russell Springs paid for a, a, a tower there at one time too. I mean, did, or not. I'm sorry, not the tower, the antenna. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, if it's just, and I guess they're all expensive, but the antenna's cheaper than a repeater, I'm sure, but. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for checking into it. Um, see if I can't see. get you an answer tomorrow. I guess no. I need a motion on on tabling this 911 building till at least next month till we can get some. I make process. a motion we table uh, the 911 till we get more information or whatever to what direction to go. Lady. I'll say. Major Skag, second by Ashford Waddell. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That's better to do it until we get let's so just take one to next month so we get at the end. Pits out all these other businesses. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. All right, ABC report. Um do you do all these months or no? No. Just no. the month? Okay. Yeah, it's basically. Okay. That's good. So the month of December, from November to December, we took in $76,611.65. The month before that was $92,278.68. Um, regulatory fees collected was, uh, for this last month, was $4,596.70 compared to $5,500.30. Oh, I'm sorry, $5,536.59. Basically, this is, these are like, like the 76000 that is November sales. 
So that, that's it's the sales different. that was all for November because we don't get to collect it until December. So that's what that is. So it's kind of a month behind. You can see the difference in the, the uh, summer months and when mm -hmm. it gets in the yeah. So we lived in the summer and started on it during the winter. Yeah. Anybody else have any other business? Can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion we adjourn. Exactly. Motion made by Magistrate Skaggs. I'll wait. We'll adjourn. Thank you. I didn't have a problem. <laughs>